Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the two noble kinsmen and we get to hear from our site today. So our site is currently working in Emily's or Amelia's service and he ran across Palamon in the woods who sort of challenged him to a duel but Palamon needed to you know recover some of his strength first so our site went and got food and files to take off his cuffs and brought those back and they were reminiscing and then their reminiscing brought them around to Amelia again and Palamon's like no we really need to fight so our site's like I'm gonna go find some some swords and some armor so that we can actually have a duel and our site has now come back we had the monologue with Palamon yesterday where he was like you know I'm actually kind of grateful to our site because my strength is restored after he brought me that food and got some rest so we should do this fighting now before people start to think I'm just a lazy bum sitting around doing nothing and then our site has come back and he has all of the he has two sets of armor and he has two swords and Palamon was like you know if if only if only you were an honest man, like I could hug you to thank you instead of having to kill you now. And our site was like, well, you know, either is an appropriate response. Palamon, Palamon says, well, then I guess I have to kill you now. And our site responds, defy me in these fair terms and you show more than a mistress to me. No more anger as you love anything that's honorable. We were not bred to talk man when we are armed and both upon our guards then let our fury like meeting of two tides fly strongly from us and then to whom the birthright of this beauty truly pertains without abradings scorns despising of our persons and such poutings fit for girls and schoolboys will be seen and quickly yours or mine wilt please you arm sir or, if you feel yourself not fitting yet and furnished with your old strength, I'll stay, cousin, and every day discourse you into health as I am spared. Your person I am friends with, and I could wish I had not said I loved her, though I had died. But, loving such a lady and justifying my love, I must not fly from it. So, what he's saying is, <laughs> this, is all, this is all very, very polite like pre-dual banter he's he's like you know if if you weren't gonna kill me now then i would think that you were a wimp so let's get to it we're both fiery men we we're born to fight each other so let's fight each other and figure out which one of us should win amelia oh but by the way like are you ready for this are you are you feeling okay do you need to wait another couple days because you like we can just hang out and chat until you feel like you're fine um because you know i i do kind of like you as a person if it wasn't for this whole Amelia thing which I almost wish I could take back but I love her so yeah I, I guess I have to fight for her now but only if you're ready <laughs> which I think is just sort of delightful and Palamon's like yeah no I'm ready let's let's do this so then they're very polite about you know which armor would you like which would you like and Palamon selects first and our site says okay let's get you in your armor because getting into armor is not a one-person job there's lots of like buckles and straps and things like that so our site helps Palamon into his armor and they're they're chatting and having pleasant conversation the whole time and then Palamon helps our site into his armor and they're chatting and they're reminiscing about things that they did together when they were younger and oh wasn't that good fun and stuff like that and they they finally both get fully fully armed and they're standing there with their swords and they can't quite fight yet and um they have to they then have to like it's like they're stalling for time. They don't really want to get to this yet. They forgive each other in advance for killing each other. They're like, so, you know, just, just so you know, if, if you kill me, that's fine. And it's completely understandable and nobody should get mad at you. And they're like, well, if, if you happen to kill me, then huzzah for you because whoever dies in this battle is a coward. But, you know, I forgive you for killing me, like that sort of thing. So they, they just keep making these niceties and, and not quite fighting each other and then they hear the horns from Theseus and Hippolyta and Perithius and Amelia who are hunting they hear the hunting horns and our side is like oh crap we can't be out here where the duke might 
find us because you know you're escaped from prison and they think that I'm somebody else because I'm in disguise so they can't find us here fighting and I was like we're not supposed to be doing this they're supposed to be out fighting or out hunting and nobody else is supposed to be doing random things like this and Palamon's like what are you chicken like come on let's do this thing anyway so they go again as if they're gonna fight and then they hear the horns again and then the whole train enters. Theseus, Hippolyta, Perithius, Amelia, all of them enter and find Palamon and Arcite about to fight, but not really about to fight because I don't think they really want to fight each other at this point. But they find them about to fight and Theseus has some words, which we will hear tomorrow. I'll see you then for that. Mwah.